All right, fam, we got an amazing video today. If you're not getting stronger, you want to put up bigger numbers in the weight room, you're about to find out exactly how to do it because I'm going to go inside here and meet Tony Fields, linebacker for the Cleveland Browns, and he's going to take us through his off-season upper body workout. Now, football players are known for being strong, explosive, especially at the linebacker position. So stay tuned, and you're going to learn a bunch of gold nuggets on how to get stronger. Don't say goodbye. I am black in 2015. I do no flag. I hit them all. I we doing a super side of both? Yep. Okay. Ultimate push pull super set. All my workouts been straight explosive. So okay. I'm trying to explode as fast as I can. Alright. Trying to push out as explosively as possible. Hit that chest. What do the chain do? It honestly makes it easier going down. Yeah. When you're pulling it up, it's like a more of a strain, so it's making you be more explosive and push it up. Ah, uh, gotcha. Okay. How many times in your workouts can you just do like 225 as many reps as possible? Like the combine test. Honestly, ever since I did it, I haven't done it again. Yeah. There's no point, honestly. Doing some towel pull-ups now. Little pull strength test. Never done this once again. Yes, sir. <sighs> Try to bounce a little bit now. Push, push, push. You got it, you got it. Strong. Strong. I'm definitely not used to this type of training, so got a lot of room to improve on the strength. Ah! 20, 20. Pick it up, you did 16, man. Alright, now I gotta hit 21. Yeah. <laughs> It's a good number. That was hard. So when you do it with the towels, you hit a lot more forearms, which is good. Of course, you hit back as well. Yeah. Uh, let's go one more. Come on. Yes, sir. The chains are a game changer. Definitely try out the chains on flat bench, incline bench. It's a hell of a lot more challenging to explode up on the concentric with the chains pulling that weight down. Right. As soon as you lift it up, I feel it. Last set, best set. Come on, two more. Come on, one more. Easy. Ah! It's been a rough week. Milos yesterday almost killed me. It's really intense. Completely different kind of training than you know what we did yesterday, the last video, but that's really good. Nothing better than getting stronger. What exercise do you think helps you get faster? I would say a lot of hamstring pulls, really. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Hopping right here? Yeah, you can just, I hop, you get a good little flow. That's not too bad. Doing another circuit, it looks like. Bring that bag up now, Middle don't have me around, nope. I was real heavy. Grip strength, traps involved. He was doing 20, I only hit, I think, 10 there. Yeah, I might gotta practice that one. Who's the YouTuber and who's the NFL linebacker? Uh, with this move right here. You look like an NFL linebacker. Crazy intense workout, just like I knew it would be. A lot of push pull strength, a lot of explosive movements.
Oh, no wonder it's so heavy, it's 100 pounds. <laughs> You know, trying to keep up with an NFL linebacker. That's what it's all about, trying to push yourself outside your comfort zone. When do you run sprints? I try to go like twice a week. I try to do it on upper body days yeah. and when the sun goes down. Sun Sunrise goes. or sunset? Going up incline is just so good on your legs. So if you want to get faster, do a lot of incline work? Incline work. Struggle there. Yeah. So the pool is the hardest part. Yeah, I noticed pool that. We're getting up there right here. Yeah. That's intense. So when you train, it's always like push and pull on upper body day? Yeah. yeah so you never do one or the other? I never do one or the other. It's always both. Is that how most football players will train? I've been to a couple different trainers. I haven't found one like mine. He makes sure he hits every muscle in your body. This is a little bit of push and pull. This one's like the emphasis. When you're pulling this one up, you're pushing this arm as hard as you can into the ground. That's too heavy. Yeah. We doing arms and abs to finish it up. Abs last 20, 20 workouts in a row. 10, 10 reps each workout. Like a monster ab circuit. No stop. Thing. Straight up tricep press now. 20, 20 reps. Good. So we're doing biceps too on this? Yeah. So it's reoccurring power. So basically we're just working on power. Okay. Yeah, just try to pull it up. I'm gonna keep it above that number above 90. So basically the steep power, yeah. I wanna make this go up every time. And if it doesn't go up, this number has to stay above 90. I need three more. So literally it's kind of power from every single rep? Yeah. Yep, see? Yeah. Try to get like two or three above that and you're good. Once you get tired, yep, one more. There you go. You got it? Yeah! Yeah! I don't know how I'm still here. This is intense, guys. Like, everything's power, everything's explosive. You want to get stronger and you want to get bigger. Great to combine both training styles. Dying. All right, so now we're doing a little ab finisher. Obviously, your core strength impacts everything you do. It's really important not to skip ab day. Try to push yourself. Just like you're doing legs, like you're doing back, chest, abs, to push yourself to the same level of fatigue. That's crazy intense. My abs are literally cramping up. I got a cramp right here. I don't know if you guys can see. Holy shit. Different kind of workout than I've done this year. Guys, what's different about this channel versus all the other fitness channels is we prioritize athletic bodybuilding on this channel, getting bigger, faster, stronger, more shredded, more aesthetic, and more explosive. So I love combining the best of both worlds. I love doing the bodybuilding workouts like with Milos and doing the giant sets 
with Charles Glass, the balloon method. Those are bodybuilding workouts. But when I train with someone like Tony, it's about athleticism, explosiveness, getting stronger, jumping higher, running faster. So I love combining the best of both elements and doing athletic bodybuilding. So I don't want you guys to get confused. If you want to become, you know, more shredded, more aesthetic, build your muscle, and also put up bigger numbers in the weight room, I highly recommend combining both forms of training. So let me know down in the comments below what pro athlete you would love to see me train with next. I'm trying to make a lot of different NBA and NFL and all professional sports collabs happen. Drink it right now, some superhuman protein, peanut butter candy flavor. After a grueling workout like that, super important to get in my protein intake. So if you guys wanna try this, this is my go-to flavor from my company, Alpha Line. I'll throw my code on the screen right now if you guys wanna save some money. And go here next if you missed the giant set bicep workout I did with former Mr. Universe, Milos.